Hey friends, I am so excited today because I have made a DIY notebook and I'm going to show you my four favorite techniques for using the Mink Reactive Paint. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to transform an embellishment with the paint and the foil. I'm going to show you how to accent a printed paper. I'm going to show you how to tape off a printed paper to get like foiled stripes and I'm going to show you how to freehand I freehanded a heart right onto a piece of vellum to get really amazing results. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to take the mink paint and I'm just going to simply fill in a few of these dots on the paper. I'm going to use this fine tip brush, but it's kind of a more bold fine tip, and I'm just going to pick random dots. Now I'm going to set this aside to dry while I show you my second technique, which I'm going to use just your typical washi tape. So I've already got my pattern paper. I'm going to kind of eyeball it, but you could also mark it. So we're going to get a nice thick stripe here at the bottom, and then I'm going to use a second piece of washi to tape off a second stripe, and we'll just fill this in with the mink paint. Go ahead and remove the washi tape. Remove it nice and slow. And set that aside to dry. The next technique is I'm going to use some of my wood veneer words. And we're going to go ahead and paint right over the top. OK, we're going to set this one aside as we work on the last and final technique. Now this is a piece of vellum. This is a mink vellum that can be found with all the mink collection. And all I'm going to do is take a, a nice dab of my mink paint and I'm going to just freehand a heart. All right, that's all there is to it. Now, I'm also going to set that aside to dry. Now, the thing that you want to remember with the mink mediums, and, and the paint is no exception, is to let everything dry completely before you run it through the mink. So I do have a mink heat tool, and that will um, appease all of us impatient crafters. Now that these have all dried completely, I can go ahead and tuck two at a time into my carrier sheet. I'm going to go ahead and lay, I'm using the champagne foil, and I'm going to go ahead and lay that right over my design and send it through the mink. Okay, so there you have it, my four favorite techniques for using mink paint. Adding paint to a printed paper, using washi tape to create stripes, adding foil and paint to embellishments, and using the paint to freehand onto vellum. These are four ways that anybody can get amazing results from the mink machine. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe so that you don't miss a thing, Get yourself some mink paint and make pretty stuff.